Can I help you? Good morning, ma'am. You must be Mrs. Chadwick. Yes, I am. Who's asking? Why is that man urinating on my veggie page? Oh, yeah, that is a spot. Sorry, love. We're investigating last night. We believe your son's girlfriend might have been murdered. Oh, so you're a crime-fighting detective, are you? I love myself a big, brave man. Mmm, mmm. Hot chocolate. Um, we're really just here to follow up with your son. My husband's traveling on business. He'll be gone for a long, long time. So we've got the whole place to ourselves, you little chocolate brownie, you. Fucking hell, mate. She's coming on strong. A weaker man might break his vows for her. Uh, it's vows, Nader. Let's have sex, Mrs. Chadwick! What the fuck? You let your kid hang this shit on his walls? Jimmy's therapist says it's just a phase. We need to let it play out. Do you think this might reflect his uh, attitude towards women? Jimmy's been defacing posters for years. <laughs> he, he finds it funny. But enough about that. How about the three of us own dress and share some of that chocolate pudding? Fuck it, I'm down. Mrs. Chadwick, can we please just stay on track? We need to speak with Jimmy about last night. Is he around? He's at school. Perfect. You sent him to school despite how traumatised he was yesterday? Of course I did. I don't want him moping around all day while I wait for the plumber to come. Besides, there's a big assembly today that he wasn't allowed to miss. The mayor is making a speech. The mayor? Henson, this is our chance to get some dirt on that suspicious prick. We better go undercover though. We can't screw this up. Well, I'm on it. And so it is with great honor that I officially rename Four Lawn Pines High to Ratburger High. I'll get you, you cunt. Peggy Sue with the Four Lawn Times. Can you tell us more about the heroin funding scandal that has come to light regarding Principal Ratburger and your election campaign? You rat. I didn't do anything. I swear. Look, Peggy, this is not the time nor the place. I'm here to talk to the students. Now, do any of the children have questions for me? Yeah, mate, I have one for ya. Yes, uh, what's your name, young man? Oh, Detective... Oh, no. oh, John Arthur Nadron. And what is your question, Mr. Nadron? Where were you at 7.30pm on the night of the Schmidt murders? Hmm, that's an oddly specific question for a child. Alright, that's it, the jig's up! Detective Nader! I'm actually Detective Nader! Detective, you wouldn't force me to answer questions of that sort without my lawyers present, would you? I'm afraid this conference is over. Okay, children, back to your classrooms. Fuck, he's too good! Talk about hot off the press. Oh, bugger off, will ya? You know I can't talk about the case. I've just got one question for you, Detective. Can I have your phone number? Oh. oh. Your tits are great. As is your hunk of meat. Oh, I love you, baby. Oh. Oh. Your nightmare, was it about the carousel case? Oh, I don't want to talk about it. You know, that case was my first big scoop. 
I'd only been working at the Forlorn Times a couple of months. I said I don't want to talk about it! Well, um, how about we change the subject then? You've been pretty tough on the mayor. I guess we both have that in common. You have to be tough on a murderer. Murderer? Are you accusing the mayor of murdering the Schmitz? You fucking bet I am! Plus the girl that went missing last night! You also think he killed Lucy Turner! Oh fuck, I've said too much! Uh, that's on the record! Oh, I mean off! Oh, oh, I can't think straight after our rump! Oh, I gotta get out of here! Oh, 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 oh. Who's that? My dad. Well, can't say I was expecting that. Anyway, I've got work to do. I oh, oh, can't wait to tell Henson about this. Ugh, I can't sleep either. Can't stop thinking about this case. Oh, yeah, oh, me neither. Detectives, I know it's late. But the reports just came back on the Lucy Turner case. Oh, have you had a hit on my straw samples? Yeah, uh, um, sorry, Nita. Uh, nothing's come back on your straw yet. Oh, uh, uh, okay. But the autopsy on the bear that you killed concluded that the missing girl was eaten by the beast. But we didn't order an autopsy. I mean, uh, well, we probably should have, but... What about the trap? Was her DNA found inside it? Um, uh, yes it was, yes. She was definitely in that hole before her death. Bears don't lay traps, mate! Someone planted the trap. Maybe to leave her for the bear? Look, I understand your frustration, detectives, but I can only speak for the report. The mayor personally paid for an independent team to do the analysis. They ruled it as death by bear. Independent analysis? So you haven't actually seen the girl's remains in the bear? No, I haven't. To be honest, it's the first time I've seen this kind of intervention. I guess it's a high profile case. Anyway, better get back to what I was doing. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, I smell a cover up and it stinks. You bet. Oh, who's this shabby cunt? Doesn't anyone in this town sleep? Forgive my tardiness, detectives. But I'm here to inquire about the murder of Daisy Schmidt and her mother. I'm sorry, who are you? I'm her biological father. Mm -mm. Hello there. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you know whenever we upload a new video. We upload every week. Oh.